Welcome to the Spelling Not Netcast. Make sure that you're prepared with your zip top bag where someone took my zip top bag. Who's got it? Oh, there it is. Woo wee, zip top bag. All right, scissors for cutting out your words. Make sure you've got a pencil ready to do some writing. Make sure it's sharp too, all right? And your glue, stick glue, and of course, spelling words. All right, so let's get cutting out. Now, today, it looks like we've got some special words. Um, looks like we're doing prefixes still, but we've got some special prefixes, and I think these are going to be good ones for you because you're going to learn a few new things. Some of you might already know these things, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's put these over on the side over here. Make sure that you take this, and I'll zip off a couple of these babies, and I'm going to glue this up on top. Now, you notice that there's uh, three this week. Put one strip across and then put it right on top. Make sure when you put this up on top that you're leaving a little bit of space so that we can do some writing in here. What I want you to do is make sure you leave a little space as we write so that you can uh, Add a little information up at the top. So as I write it, try to write exactly where I write on my book. That way, as we get through it, you'll, it'll be nice and neat. You'll be able to understand it a little better. Everything will be peachy keen, whatever that means. I don't know what peachy keen means, but I, I think we'll probably find out. I guess we could find out what it means. Um, well, maybe that's what you should do is look up the word peachy keen. All right, so let's start out by looking at what we got. We're going to do all four of these. So I'm going to put this across my word, my thing, without cutting these out. That way I can do uni dash, underline it, by dash, underline it, try dash, underline it, and then other. And I wonder what other is going to be. But I want you to leave some space up here so we can write the meanings of these prefixes. All right? Okay, now I can cut these out and put these into my zip top bag for tomorrow night to get ready for everything else we're doing. All right, for the other sorts and stuff. So, let's look and see what we got here. Uni. Uni. What we're going to do is I'm going to look at this. Oh, look at that. We got a unicycle. Unicycle. Uni is the prefix. We know what a cycle is. It's something that we ride with wheels, right? That's kind of what a cycle is. It's usually man-powered. Not like a car. We don't call a car a cycle. Um... Unicycle. Let's let's look at this other one right here. We got a bicycle or a bicycle. Bi underline it. C Y C L E. Unicycle. Bicycle. Cycle. And then or a unicycle. I wonder if that's a sickle or a cycle. I don't know. Let's do try. Try. Sickle or tricycle. So what does uni, bi, and tri mean when we're talking about cycles? Well, of course, bicycle means that there's two wheels. So when we talk about bi, that means two. So tricycle is three, and uni means one. And so when we're talking about these prefixes today, we're actually talking about numbers. All right? So let's look at another word here. We're going to go tripod. Tripod. Underline the tri. 
as I look at tripod, pod is, you know, something stationary. Tripod means that there's three pods, three legs on a tripod. Three pods. Cool. Now, let's look at, ooh, this one's an interesting one right here. Find this one. It's United. United. Uni Ted. One Ted? Is that what it means? No. United means we are one. We are the United States. We are have a whole bunch of states, but we are one country. And the greatest country. Just thought I'd let you know that. You probably knew that, though. Bi-weekly, bi-weekly means it's every two weeks. Hmm. Pretty cool. And then we're going to do this one. This one is quadrangle. Quad, quad wrangle. Oops, that's a G. We better change that to a Q. Quad wrangle. So what do you think quad wrangle means? Because when I look at quad, I see something more than just, you know, a uh, number, but you know, what is a quad? Anybody know? Well, I can't hear you anyway, so quad means four. So but we can't put four on here because it's the other. So let's put quad equals four. So that's a four angle. So that means it's a four angles. That's a quadrangle is a square or a rectangle, something like that. Isn't that cool? That's kind of cool. And so if you're going to a quad or a quadrangle, then what you're doing is you're going to a place that has four sides that are enclosed, a quad. That's kind of cool. Sweet. So that would go under other. And you know what? I think I'm, what I'm going to let you do is I'm going to let... Oh, let's do this one. October. October. Oct. 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 Octopus. Oh, oct. Oct equals eight. October. The interesting thing about October was it used to be the eighth month, so... It was the 8th month, October. But today, we know October as the 10th month. All right? So what I need you to do now is to finish all your words here. Put them all in where they go. Make sure that you know what each one of these ones and the other mean. Quad is 4, October is, or oct is 8. If you find some other ones, write them in. When you get done, put them all in your zip-top bag for all your sorts tomorrow night. All right. Go out there. Get her done. Get these all written out nice and neat. All right. Have a good night.